Graphene is a wonder material which holds many promises. It's ultra light at one atom thick, 200 times stronger than steel, and it's more conductive than copper. So the big question is, what's happening with graphene and why don't we see it everywhere? Well, developing this wonder material in pure large quantities is actually pretty tough. Luckily, there have been some recent innovations when it comes to producing graphene, and it's only going to be a matter of time until this stuff comes out with full force. Regardless, there are some pretty cool products right now which utilize small quantities of graphene, and they show a glimpse of the capabilities contained within this super material. So without further ado, let's begin the official countdown. Beginning at number 7, the Model R. Quite a few car companies are looking at graphene to improve the design of their vehicles. Now I'm going to be a little bit conservative and mention that the BAC model is the first car to partially use graphene in their body panels. Infused with carbon fiber, the car is slightly reduced in weight along with an increase in panel strength. The car itself is pretty fast and can go 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and tops out at 170 miles per hour. It's still a far cry from a 100% infused graphene body car, but it's a pretty good start. At number 6, the Aura headphones. Now we have to be a little bit skeptical when it comes to proclaimed commercial products with infused graphene, but these new headphones are pretty exciting to hear about. Now the speaker membrane, or the cone, needs to be lightweight, but it also needs to be rigid enough to eliminate unwanted vibrations. The Aura headphones achieves this by using 95% graphene infused cones and theoretically provides a 10 decibel increase in sensitivity along with using less power. Once again, this product is derived from an ominous Kickstarter campaign, so I'm going to remain skeptical about these claims. Nevertheless, it's going to be interesting to observe whether or not graphene is going to be a superior material in speaker drivers. We get to number 5 and it's Graph Air. I bent the rules on this one and it's technically not commercially available, but Graph Air has been used in a real world application in filtered water from the ocean, but more specifically Sydney's harbour in Australia. Graph Air is unique in the fact that it can filter out toxic compounds, larger molecules and even higher concentrations of alkalines. Now it's able to do this because it has a graphene membrane and it is limited to 9cm squared so it can only produce 1 litre of water per day. But there are plans to scale up to several hundred liters of water a day, which would definitely be a game changer. It would be nice to see this on a Kickstarter campaign and get this to the market, but for now, it's still up in the air. We get to number 4, and yes, we finally have a graphene jacket. Volbach makes some pretty cutting edge clothing, and their new graphene infused jacket is definitely notable. One side is entirely coated in this crazy material, and it's attached to a nylon membrane. The jacket has all the benefits of graphene, and supposedly it's also conductive. This means that you can zap yourself or transfer electricity, but you can also transfer body heat to colder areas inside the jacket. Another cool thing is that bacteria cannot actually grow in graphene, so it is hypoallergenic and anti-static. Ultimately, it is pretty expensive, but it's yet another product which is actually using graphene and it's not stuck in the lab. We get to number 3, and it's yet another product you can buy, and it's also one of the world's lightest materials. This graphene aerogel has an extremely low density, and this allows it to have a high absorption rate, up to several hundred times greater than any commercially available product on the market. So you could theoretically use it for environmental cleanups. The aerogel can also be used for energy storage applications, but you will need a mad scientist garage for testing. As of right now, you can buy 100 milligrams or $150 off graphene supermarkets, so I'll leave that link in my description. At number 2, the IFCO patch. Graphene can be extremely flexible and sensitive to environmental inputs, so this new patch can do everything a Fitbit can, and then some. It measures heart rate, hydration, oxygen saturation, breathing rate, and even temperature. The patch connects wirelessly to the user's phone, and it also charges remotely, which I'm assuming is magnetic resonance due to the coils. Unfortunately, this patch is only a prototype for now, and it would likely be very expensive if it was released on the market. But it's still pretty neat to actually see a graphene device work. That's number one, the graphene battery. So there's a huge potential to use graphene and batteries and even capacitors. 
So there is a lot of research going on right now to figure out how to mass produce graphene for mobile products, which would include phones, tablets, and even some wearable technology. But a smaller company has already built a series of real graphene batteries that are commercially available. Now these products use graphene as a composite layer in a regular lithium battery. And this allows it to charge much quicker with a full 3000 milliamp per hour battery charge in less than 20 minutes. This is because graphene can handle higher watts without bursting into flames. Once again, I'm going to re-emphasize the fact that companies like Samsung and Apple, which build phones, definitely know about this material, and they're likely to incorporate graphene batteries in their upcoming products. So yeah, graphene batteries are a real thing, and it's not just another research project. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.